all right everyone welcome back to another episode of enigmatica i hope everyone is doing great today i know that i am as always so we are just getting right on into things today i've really been craving playing this pack um and i've been wanting to i've been tempted to do stuff off camera uh but i've been trying to hold myself back as much as possible now actually at after i wrapped up the last episode i did go through and i did do a little bit more mining um, which I probably should have waited on realistically, uh, because ultimately what ended up happening is I did all I did find some diamonds. We did go down there. I found three diamonds, which is awesome, um, and we found some redstone, some more just some more good stuff in general, some lapis, like a bunch of great great items here to add to our overall backlog. Got some more coal and so on and so forth. Nothing too crazy. But I figured today we would do a number of different things and I have an ultimate end goal in mind But I don't know if we'll have enough time to get there. So you might notice right off the bat We have a bunch of stuff in our inventory I really want to go out and get a bridge up and going over here I would really like to go over to the river get a bridge going we can take a look at the map here actually um, And get a bridge going somewhere along here probably um, to get that all set up so we could easily get across here and then go and explore with our horse over in these areas over here. Now we do have the fort here and then we also have the village and I know that um, I think some of you guys were saying that you can actually find some good stuff at the fort. I just have to do a little bit more exploration so we're definitely going to try to hit back there at some point in time. Um, but yeah, I really would like to get some kind of bridge up and going. At least one here. We'll probably make another one lower down or modify this one down here at some point. Uh, but because we're at the point still where most of our traveling is going to become or is going to be coming from uh, our horse and, and having our horse as our main mode, um, I want to have that bridge up and going so we don't have to trek across water. I should also mention this pack was updated um, and so we are running on the latest version of it. I don't know the number offhand, but they did do some bug fixes and they did do some tweaking to it. Um, and it's kind of funny because I have no idea why this is so pushed over. Um, usually this JEI comes out to here. And uh, if I click on the configurations here, you have to install FTB library to access the um, in-game config. So, I mean, I have no idea. <laughs> but anywho, it's also eerily quiet. Like, very eerily quiet. Let's go into our options and our sound here. Um, we obviously have our music off, our weather's turned down. The ambient environment we have pretty low and friendly creatures pretty low not pretty low but like decently low but i feel like before there was still just so much ambient noise in the background and i'm just not hearing it at all anymore um we did get our bushes placed out out here and some trees that are growing in which are awesome so we're getting a lot of berries we're getting some oranges i believe these are oranges right yeah oranges uh, which is awesome and i got them stored up in our um, open or not our open blocks are cooking for blockheads set up over here We did go through and I did kind of just do some organization on some of the foods that we've been picking up and just some miscellaneous items as well So I thought first and foremost, let's actually get the cooking for blockheads main cookie cookery up and going the main table um, I think that'd be extremely useful for us. So in order to do that um, Unfortunately, we did lose our bookmarks here. So we got to go to cooking for blockheads um, and we are going to bookmark our table here. It pops up behind my Camry, so you guys can unfortunately not see it. Uh, so we just want to grab those. So all we got to do is cook up a book. Easy peasy. We did get a bunch of these books um, in one of our previous episodes. We're going to throw a book into the furnace. Put our osmium away. I did find a good amount of osmium, as you can see here. And we're going to get that all cooked up for us. I think then, yeah, we just need two crafting tables which shouldn't be too bad to get going i always got to remember our workbench is on the floor here so we'll grab two of those we'll grab i'll grab two of the normal ones oh that's from fast workbenches interesting okay i think it still should work honestly um and then we need our two diamonds okay so we'll grab two diamonds i think it's worth it to get this going i mean food is such a big key part of us um uh um 
you know, surviving in our playthrough that uh, I think ultimately it's just worth it. Okay, so now all we got to do is get our terracotta here, um, which I put somewhere. There it is. And we should be able to get our cooking table up and going just like so. All right, now we don't need the terracotta, so let's throw it away. Put it in our chest, I should say. And boom, we'll get that put down and it automatically connects to all of the um, the, the items here, which is really nice. And I believe it actually pulls from up there as well, because we are getting some of these, uh, beetroot soups and it does pull in the bowls for that, which is really nice. Um, I was a little bit worried that the upper cabinets weren't going to connect in the way that I wanted to. We can also make a sweet berry cookie. It is a light snack. I love cooking for blockheads mixed in with simple farming and farmer's delight and all the different food mods. Like there's just so much cool stuff that you could get. Um, and you, that you can make up as well. And there's funny, it's funny, cornbread is a meal. Like, that's pretty cool. And there's also all of these additional contexts below. When it says when eaten, you have like 10% or whatever percentage in a certain area. Well, if we go into our items and we go to this little um, drumstick here, we can look at dietary effects. And uh, we are very low on grains, very low on sugars, and very low on fruits in our diet. So... Um, this one shows right here, it gives us grains and fruits if we do a do a sweet berry cookie. So we could do that. And uh, unfortunately, our hunger is actually not low enough to uh, to be able to utilize these, but we can hold on to those. Those would be extremely useful for us down the line. Um, but if you just have bread, obviously it bumps up a good amount there. Cornbread is good for grains um, and then so on and so forth. Now, if we had our refrigerator hooked up to power, we could actually get it so it automatically creates like snowballs and snow like that. So we could get like slushies and things like that, which are really, really cool. And like smoothies um, with all of the different berries that we've been accumulating in here. Um, so that definitely will be a goal for us to actually get into some of the technology. But I'm taking my time. This is definitely going to be one of the longer um, series, I think. I think we're going to take our time and kind of just you know, take in all the different aspects that we have and not rush to try to get into things. So. I think now what I'll do is I'm going to head over to the river and uh, kind of pick out a spot where we want to set up our bridge and I'll bring you guys on back once we have scoped out a good location. All right, guys, so I think I found just the right spot to set up our bridge here. Super excited for it. I actually got going already on it um, and I'll show you here. So this is where we have decided to go with just in this location here. I could pull up the map. So we are right here. Um, as you can see, I already started making my way um, across. This is the village right here. I feel like we're in a good close proximity to pretty much everything we would want right here. The village is here. There's a little bit of a safe house right down there if we needed to get to it. Um, and then it pulls us over. There's some astral sorcery right here. And then we could even um, dive even deeper over here. And this is where we found the waystone right there. So uh, I think this is a great spot. Um, on top of that, I already uh, started putting things in place. And it was right by this sign here, which I believe these signs indicate, I think, a village maybe or something like that. But I thought it was so cool. I just wanted to keep it right here. Um, I am making this a ginormous uh, bridge. Normally, you kind of do like usually like a three wide path. We're doing five wide um, just to give us enough breathing room um, if we're taking the horse across here. Um, now, we are a little bit down on our hunger here, so I'm going to eat some of these sweet berry cookies. And we did gain a heart from it as well, which is awesome. And I think actually that is almost going to get us to full um, saturation. So I decided to go with these holly logs because they are very plentiful around here. And on top of that, I did like the look of them. I thought they looked really nice. Um, and we're going for a very basic, very basic design on it, honestly. Now, it does look a little bit weird with them coming so high off the ground like so. But obviously, this is just the uh, skeleton of it. And we obviously need to still do this side, um, which we'll work on here in just a minute to have this go all the way across as well. And obviously, kind of tie into that side in general. Now, I did bring all of this stone with me, and so I'm thinking we'll utilize it. Uh, I don't see why we wouldn't. I had gone with this blue um, for the pathway. I thought this would be really cool from Embellish Craft, but now that I'm placing it down, I feel like it almost looks too fake, almost. Like, it's just too harsh of lines for it, if that makes sense. It's kind of weird. Um, so we might reconsider that. We do have our portable stone cutter with us so we can always utilize that and we do have some weathered um, and I also did bring some slate with us as well so we could always look at different 
options of what we could put down like if we wanted to go with the cobblestone we could do slate cobblestone instead um, or we could do any of the other variations um, let's actually grab some of this i'm a little bit curious uh, we'll grab like 10 just as a tester here and I'm going to show you guys just a little bit of how we do how I do my building. I kind of just get some materials together and then go from there on how I want them all to combine together. I honestly wasn't even planning on using this Hollywood until we even got out here. Um, so let's get rid of this as well. And then let's try this. How will this look? Will this look weird? Eh, I feel like that's going to look too weird and it kind of ties too much into this. I feel like it's got to be something nice. And honestly, just the logs might be our best bet for it and utilizing more stone around the walkways here. I want it to not necessarily be a super like industrial or not necessarily industrial, but like stone age, a little bit higher tech, um, like Roman build where you have like a lot of stone in, uh, utilized for it. We're out in a forest in the middle of nowhere. It's like, I feel like I want to utilize the resources that are around this area because that's realistically what you would do in the real world. You would use what you have close to you most of the time, um, especially in a case scenario like this. So uh, I don't know. I think ultimately this slate is not going to do it. We could always just use the holly logs, obviously, get them down to their planks and utilize that. Or there is more pine wood, and I think there's actually another type of wood over there, like maple or something, so we could always see how that would look as well. So I'm going to keep going here. I'll bring you back probably like midway through the build and show you guys where we are at. All right, guys, so I've been doing a little bit of work here, and we're actually just about wrapped up with the bridge um, from a functionality perspective. Obviously, we got to add in some more decorative items here or there, uh, but I also came up with another plan that I'm starting to work on as well, so I'm going to show you that as well here um, in just a second. We do need to eat, though. Let's eat some fish stew, and uh, we'll put that away in our backpack for the time being. We have been accumulating a lot of these holly berries because we've been chopping down a lot of these holly trees, um, so that's been actually pretty nice to have. So... Let me show you what we got here. So this is the bridge thus far. I'm liking it. Obviously, again, guys, we need some more aesthetic items on here. On its own right now, it looks very, very plain. But I think once we get some, some fences on here, maybe we'll add a little bit down below as well. Maybe another additional cross member of, uh, um, underneath a few of these. Just so it kind of breaks it up a little bit. That's really what we want. We want to have that uh, differentiation here and not it just be an extremely long singular line. You want to have that breakup in it. Um, and then we went with these maple planks for it. And I think it looks really good. It's very subtle. It's nothing crazy. Um, very muted color palette or earth tone palette, which I do like because we are still, like I was saying earlier, in this foresty area. Um, and it's, it's, it doesn't need to be anything too crazy or uh, anything that needs to really pop out. And I feel like it goes well with the, um, the brown variations in these holly logs. So I think it looks great. You guys will have to let me know uh, what you guys think of the combination in the comments down below. Uh, we're going to throw these on here. I've been throwing these bark mushrooms on a lot of things. I think they're just such a cool aesthetic. It really makes it seem uh, like, you know, like you know there's stuff just growing on here and we're unfortunately i think gonna have to remove it when we do put some fence posts down uh, but that can be uh later down the line i've never seen this before mossy rock okay i guess it just disappeared which is fine but yep yeah, look at this guys we now have a nice setup here i have been planting down a lot of holly trees to kind of just push out the forest in itself, make it look a little bit more dense um, than what it was before. Um, as you can see, I've actually put a lot more over there as well. You see, I have a campfire set up. I'll kind of head over there in just a second to show you guys uh, what we're doing. But I think over here, I might do something similar as well. So let's head over to that that way. Um, the path here, I have more plans for it. I need to get some coarse dirt and maybe some gravel and so on and so forth to kind of just expand this out, add again some texturization and some differentiation between um, just this because on, on its own it just looks very very plain cut and I don't want it to be like that I want it to be very flowy and look natural and this doesn't really look that natural just yet um, so give it a little bit of time and we'll kind of get it there but moving over to this side of the river to the north end of it um, we do have some more of this again coarse dirt gravel so on and so forth is really gonna make this pop over here so once we get a few of those we'll come back and we'll kind of expand it out and then I also started working on this. So I want to have these locations where we can just 
stop and, and and stop for the night you know there are occasions where it does get dark out and we really need to just pause and take a break or maybe we need to stop in and smelt some stuff up and i think these little hot spots scattered throughout our our whole entire region will be extremely useful much like how we had the safe house location marked down here i'm actually going to remove it and uh, i think right here what i'll do is add in a safe house here this is going to be safe house one uh, again, because I just want a location where we can make a pit stop. Like if we need to do anything, it's a great area where we can come in, have like a furnace like we do, a crafting table, maybe a bed, maybe even some kind of way to make food. Maybe we'll have like little farms at each one just in case. Um, if not only just for decoration, that'd be pretty cool. Now I started building it out. As you can see, there's a lot more that we need to do to it with a few more resources that we need to get. Um, but I'm planning to have like a nice big fireplace right here. Now, I don't know how it'll work with these being here and, and fire being back there. And I don't think there's like, I mean, I guess we could just put like we could just put campfires in there because I don't believe campfires will actually light the trees on fire or wood on fire. So we could just put those in here and, and have it be that. I typically go with like a fire or fire additional lights. You can literally make fire in this game fire for fire pit fire for fire pit l what is l for torch this is interesting okay so what how does this work does it even like stay that way i'm so confused now so okay hold on hold the phone here now i am curious you can literally craft fire what <laughs> that doesn't make any sense that you can just craft fire okay let's grab a um Oh, geez, I don't even know what to put down underneath it. I guess we could just put some of these, right? Um, These are driftwood planks. Actually, if you uh, place, uh, I think if you toss wood into water, you get these driftwood pieces. I'm so confused. Did it place it down? Oh, it did, but it's underneath, right? Or... What in the heck? Okay, but like, I... I'm so confused. Hang on. Let's try to, to craft up the other one. What is this one? L. Okay, that actually shows on top of it. What could these be used for? Like, anything specific? It doesn't really say anything specific. I want to get rid of that one for the time being. Um, but that's kind of cool. I, I mean, I really didn't expect it to be like that. I kind of like the fire pit look, though, because you do see the logs in there. This is very interesting, though. Very, very interesting um, and unique. Uh, I'm just going to toss it for the time being. We can always craft more if we really wanted to, uh, but I'm going to place those down. I think fire, again, fire pits are going to be really, really cool. Um, and if we can make up a couple of them, we'll just need like three, I believe, and we should be good. And we'll just place those all in there, and those will act as our... Um, as our fire for for our for our fireplace i know how to talk right okay now let's grab for decorative purposes let's grab this we obviously our stone cutter um we're gonna grab a little bit of the weathered uh, bricks here and that might be a little bit too much i do want to try to get some of these i think this would be really cool to have if we bumped it up like one there so it looks like it, but it's not like fully in your face. And then if we did maybe one more section of them up here, um, we'll grab that like so. Or maybe have it bumped out even one more. But I think that'll look really cool. I mean, you got all the smoke that'll be coming out and coming out the top. You have the fireplace there. If we added in some iron bars, that'd be pretty cool. If we added them in somewhere, somewhere along here, we could even bump that up one more, add iron bars up there. Or if we wanted to put them down here, it could, it could look very cool. I don't know. Lots of options for design. Um, we're going to have to spend some time on it, though, to, to get it up and going. But I think ultimately this, this is going to be a really cool way, really cool uh, thing to get up and going. Uh, so let's actually grab more of the weathered limestone here. And I am just going to try to put in place some of these. Now, the one thing that does stink is that we don't have a good way of getting up and down 
um, just yet. A good way of actually moving ourselves vertically. And we might want to look into that. I don't know if climbing gloves are in here. It doesn't look like they are. Whoa, the spider. You can climb the wall like a spider. So I guess we could eventually get that from Lost Trinkets. Um, let's look up just wall because realistically it would be that or maybe climb. Let's look up climb. Yeah. Cave centipede leggings. I have no idea. Enables wall climbing. If you had a cave centipede leg. Ooh, that's actually pretty cool. But we would have to find one of those, right? So, anyway, let's sleep through the night here, and, um, yeah, let's sleep through the night. Let's get into the morning. Hopefully not too many mobs have spawned. I have been realizing that we I really need to be on top of it, because mobs spawn pretty much instantaneously once it starts getting dark out, um, and I really don't want to, to have that happen to me all the time. So, and I don't think, like, if I go to weathered... I don't think we can make a vertical cutout, and I don't believe a weather detector. Interesting. I don't believe, um, is chiseling bits in here? It is. Okay, so we could do that. We could get a saw blade up and going. We will try that out real quick here. I don't know if this will necessarily work. We're going to see how it goes. Um, we'll take that. Can we cut these in half? We can. Okay, does it matter which side? I don't think it really matters which side. So we'll get a couple of these and can we, oh, I'm trying to, trying to um, double tap to fly because I'm so used to being able to fly and uh, obviously it doesn't work like that anymore. How, how can I get this to work? What is that? You see that? What? Can we get these placed in here or not? Maybe I have to be facing in that specific direction. I don't know why it won't let us put it on the back half. Can I? There we go. Okay. Sometimes these are just finicky. I mean, understandably so. Can I get in there? Oh, this is going to be tricky. There we go. Okay. I mean, it's not really how I want it to be placed. Okay. Can I, can I, can, can, can I, can I get in here? All right, I actually figured it out. I completely forgot you could do this. So if you have this and you hold shift and you use your scroll wheel, you can actually get it facing in the direction that you want it to be facing. Now, obviously, you just want to get it onto the right thing here. And for some reason, we're having a little bit of trouble with that. So there we go. And then can we get that one to go onto here? We just needed to get onto this last one and we should be fine. And I don't know why it just doesn't want to uh, to pop onto there. And it might be because we don't have a block that's like next to it that we can latch onto. There we go. Boom, placed and good to go. So if we take this down, chop that down, we'll head down here. And as you can see, it looks pretty cool. So Chisel and Bits actually is really, really nice. Very convenient for things like this. Um, so we could get that going. Now you can even go even tinier than this if you really, really wanted to, which is pretty interesting. Um, we could cut these down into this size, right? And then what we could do is add these on. These are lower though, unfortunately. Oh, I really wanted higher ones than that. I mean, we could place them like that, I think. But we do need that, you do need that block behind it, basically. Which it, this doesn't have because we have that above it. Oh, this gets tricky. Okay, hold on. All right, guys, I got it. A lot of tinkering, but uh, yeah, you can really get very, very uh, customized blocks out of this chisel and bits. It's so nice. Um, and as you can see, we really built out a cool looking fireplace there now again yeah we, we might want to add in some like iron bars or something like that we could totally do it or if we added in like a strip along here and then added the iron bars behind it we could adding a cauldron in there would be kind of cool to see as well just from an aesthetic purpose realistically more than anything else uh but yeah so that's going to do it for that there 
Now, I think the only other thing that, uh, you know, we are going to be able to get to today, unfortunately, uh, just due to the timing, um, is maybe getting in place some fence posts on here and then taking our horse and doing a little bit more exploration that way. So I'm going to get some of these put in place and then uh, we shall go from there. All right, guys, so I'm actually just putting the finishing touches on our house here on our safe house. Um, and I just kind of wanted to show you how I'm going about finishing off the actual fireplace here um, because I did end up using a lot of the chisel and bits pieces here. Um, unfortunately, you have to have it uh, an adjacent normal block in order for these to work right. And uh, sometimes I mess them up like just, just like that. But as you can see, we have a structure around this one, around the actual chimney here that is um, allowing us to easily get to these all put in place here. So that's actually gonna do it for that. So let's uh, get rid of these. We'll get rid of these. And that should be good to go. Nice, right off the top there. Um, and then this is all good to go as well. I went and I put a nice little roof on here. I guess we could take off this uh, little support structure here on the side that I utilized. We did have a merchant that actually popped up here as well, which is kind of funny to have one of these guys pop in here. Um, it is starting to get dark out though, so we are going to sleep here shortly, but it is coming along really well. Obviously we need to fill in a few areas here, um, but that's not gonna be too bad to fill them in. Um, as you can see, like right in here, we're gonna wanna fill in, and I don't know if I wanna go uh, like this and put these in here like so. I feel like that's a little bit too much. I mean, we could chisel and bit into it if we really wanted to. Uh, but then again, we're kind of deep diving even more into chisel and bits, which I mean, it's it's not it's not the worst thing in the world, obviously. It's obviously really, really nice to have in here. And it's something that we uh, really didn't get much into before. So why not? Why not go for it? We're going to grab a couple of those um, and then we want these ones. So let's grab a bunch of those and then just try them out. So. Can we get them in the upper corner or no? That is the problem is I think I made a bunch of lower ones where I want to make a bunch of higher ones. Um, right button to place, not bound, ignore, block, grid, mouse wheel cycle. Okay. So if I mess this up, hang on, let's try this again. So driftwood, right? We're going to make those. And then we want to make those, right? But like, is there a way to make the uppers or is it always just like that? Oh, that's really weird that you can do it really far off like that. Yeah, it kind of just does the same. So obviously top or bottom is what it's going to be. And uh, it kind of just makes the same ones regardless. So I don't know, maybe we can't place these in the little crevices like I would like to. Um, I'd really like to get them up in there i felt like for a second we had it oh wait nope okay it just is circling around that unfortunately um if we place it on the ground obviously it would work so um, yeah i don't know if that's gonna work up there i'll have to tinker with it chisel and bits gets really weird i would say um we're just gonna get rid of some of these though because i that's the one thing i do not like about it is how easily it accumulates in your inventory really takes up a lot of space but it's coming together i really like it a lot um i like the roofing and i, I just overall it's it's going to be a nice place that we can stop in and relax now i did go ahead and worked on our bridge a little bit more not 100 percent sure on the fence posts you guys let me know in the comments what are you thinking about the fence posts would it make sense for them to run all the way across i did add in these very beefy like overhangs where we have the lanterns on them to keep us nice and protected when it does get to nighttime it'll be nice and bright across the bridge here and also high enough up that we won't hit our heads so and then we've obviously added in a lot more trees along here as well i don't think i want to add these every single one i think it would be a little bit too cluttered that's why i'm leaving them open these middle ones open um, but we'll kind of see so let's grab our horse here grab our lead and then let's head across the bridge for the first time which is really nice it's really nice that we could just go right across here um and i do want to do a little bit of exploration over on this side like i said right here at the end of the video um in the next video guys i think we're actually going to get into pipes back at the base i would like to kind of organize our inventory a little bit more uh but we'll see what kind of mood we're in like i said oh 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 oh, oh. 
Got to be careful of those bushes. Um, like I said, this whole series is going to be kind of around building and taking our time doing exploration and things like that. So it's not going to be quick hitters. It is definitely going to be drawn out, uh, but in a very good way. I'm, I'm excited for this series and I'm excited in the direction that we can take it. And I hope you guys are excited as well. We also need to get some bees up and going soon as well because uh, they're a really good way to get resources. So let's take a look at the map here. Um, as you can see, we've started uncovering a few more things here. And as, as we go more inland, it is going to open up even more and more mountainous regions for us. So guys, let me, um, let me go a little bit further here. I'll bring you guys on back and then we'll wrap up the episode. All right, guys. So... We've traveled a little bit here. I'll show you on the mini map where we're at. Um, we, we've gone from our bridge all the way over to here. Did find a village right here, which is really nice, right along the coast. Um, but we were in this harbor here. Oh, did it just despawn? It, you might have seen it right before I opened the mini map there, but there was actually a whale out here, which is really cool. That's from Alex's mobs. Um, just adding in a bunch of cool... Uh, different types of mobs for us to uh, to experience in game, which is really cool. Up oh, there's a whale right there, as you can see, which is so cool. And we also found this cool little inlet um, of water, which is very interesting to see. And we're also in a snowy, uh, snowy rocky black beach. It's what it's called, but uh, really it's just a snowy area. Lots and lots of snow all throughout here. That whale looks so cool. I mean, even though it's just spinning around looking a little bit derpy there, it's uh, it's still cool to see that in game and have different types of mobs just in general that we can can really add to the aesthetic and the the atmosphere of the game. Now, I did notice this over here. I don't know what it is. Um, it's something, some kind of like dungeon, maybe. I'm not 100 percent sure. Um, I definitely hear some skeletons, though, so. But guys, with that being said, we are going to wrap up the episode. So I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, definitely leave a like down below. Or better yet, leave a comment. Like I said before, let me know what you're thinking on that bridge. If you like it, if you want to see some tweaks, we could always add some more aesthetics to it. Maybe some vines, maybe some, some leaves to give it a little bit more of an, uh, a flowy aesthetic to it. If you are new here to the channel, definitely hit that subscribe button and bell notification if you did enjoy it. I uh, let you know every single time a new episode is posted here on the channel. And we do have a good backlog of videos if you're interested in checking any of those out. Um, I do stream over on Twitch on Mondays and Fridays. We typically go live at about 4.30 to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So link for that in the description down below, along with a link to our Discord, our community Discord. If you feel like joining in the community or at least keeping up to date with everything that is going on, I do post updates over there um, as well. So it's a great source of news um, and the know-how. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it so very much, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Take it easy.